Hello everyone, I'm just wrapping up for the day. A little over, but not too much, and it was a very, very, very good day. I was finally getting a chance to uh, spend some time in Procreate Dreams, which I've been very curious about and I haven't had a chance to even glance at. And a lot of you have asked me about, I got to spend a full day with it. I have plenty of opinions. I, I, I feel like I had, over, overall, it was a really good experience. There's little nitpickies that I don't love, but overall, like, I mean, you'll see in the video, um, but the challenge they had to make a comprehensive animation program with such minimal input, like you basically have a pencil, some finger gestures and the iPad screen, uh, it's very impressive what they've managed to pull off. It's very difficult, like the learning curve is pretty high, but once you get over past a certain threshold, watch a few tutorials and spend a bit of time in it, it, it can become pretty comfortable, you know, honestly. I think there's a limit to how, how professional you can get, but they've also hired some very professional people to show that you can do some very impressive stuff. So it's it's very, very good. You'll see my video. I As you can see, I, I have made some pretty impressive stuff myself. I made something a little better than this, but I think this is a pretty great intro. This was my first ever animation in Procreate Dreams. You ready? No, oh, hang on. Video player lag, so you missed the impact. That was me animating blood. <laughs> All right, come on. Ready? Sorry. <laughs> oh, delightful. That's my bread and butter. That's what I was raised on. Killing stick figures. <laughs> so that was very, very fun. And then I did do an animation that was actual, you know, frame by frame animation with a full physical character uh, that I'm pretty happy with. I'm transferring the files and I've got low battery. I just hope it survives till the very end. All right, I, I have my question of the day here. Uh, KSU Loves MRC says, do you feel like YouTube pace of upload stunts your progress? I mean, do you have to prioritize the schedule instead of your artistic growth? That's a really good question. I, th I feel like the challenge of YouTube is it, it you, you pigeonhole yourself. When you, when you find something that works, you're kind of stuck in it. You can work your way out of it, but there are sacrifices that come with that. So for example, uh, I started off, well, actually way back in the day, I started off like four or five videos a week. Eventually that moved down to three videos a week for a good number of years. I think back in the PJ era, back before we moved to the, the studio before this one, three videos a week for years. Then in the previous studio, we were two videos a week. Uh, specifically when Gareth started, we switched to that. We were able to elevate the project's production value, put, put more into it. But that comes at sort of a sacrifice in terms of like, you can do bigger stuff, you can do better edits, but lower output means you sort of reduce your, you, you've built a business based on a certain thing. So fortunately that worked out pretty well. Um, more recently, it's quite challenging switching to one video a week because I'm really trying to get more room to create better productions. There are people who do one video every two weeks or even one video a month because they've been doing that or can transition to that because they can sort of sacrifice in the short term. The challenge for me is sacrificing in the short term isn't something I can really do because I'm not sacrificing my income, I'm sacrificing everyone. You know what I mean? Like it's it's the studios, everyone who works here, like I, I need to make sure that they're provided for. And that's part of the challenge, but I'm trying to find that happy place. And this was a really great example of like a really fun project uh, that I was able to do with one really focused day. Um, and I'm really happy with the results, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to sort of buy time with simpler projects with this to do some bigger projects to be more satisfying. I don't know if I answered your question, but I gave it a crack. Anyways, that's what I did today. I'm, I'm excited. I feel like I'm back on track. I feel like it's that's a journey though. So, you know, there'll be a, good days and bad days, but all in all, I'm really glad to sort of be moving in a direction I feel so much more relieved to be moving in. And honestly, it's just been a huge relief to just be really open with you all about it and talk about it and just have said this stuff and then move forward together. So appreciate you. Thanks for watching.